Filipinos began voting Monday morning to elect their next president and some 18,000 other officials of all levels of government. A total of 37,211 polling centers across the country opened at 6 a.m. local time for the 65.7 million eligible voters and will close at 7 p.m. local time. I'm now standing inside one of the polling centers here in Manila, and you can see behind me many people have already shown up, ready to cast their votes. According to the final pre-election nationwide surveys, former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr., the son of former President Ferdinand Marcos, is leading with majority, while his main rival, incumbent Vice President Maria Leonor Robredo, ranked the second. Eight other candidates trailed behind Marcos and Robredo, including boxing icon turned Senator Emmanuel Pacquiao, Manila City Mayor Francisco Domagoso, and Senator Pamphilo Laxon. Results of the election could be known just a few hours after polling closes. Whoever wins the presidential election will have to struggle with problems confronting the country of 110 million people, including the lingering COVID-19 pandemic, widespread poverty, ballooning debt, increasing unemployment, and decades-long insurgencies. The government has put 45,000 soldiers and 60,000 police officers in charge of maintaining order during the elections. An additional 12,000 police force is on standby if violence breaks out in some areas. The Commission on Election has tagged 104 municipalities and 14 cities as hot spots due to armed groups and intense political rivalry, which could trigger election violence. 